Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys about something that uh, I personally thought was a rid little ridiculous, but you know what? Uh, we should probably discuss these type of things. You know, someone said uh, yesterday on, on my Facebook while they got into discussion and they were saying, well, I heard from so-and-so, it was like Dr. Berg, that milk will lower your testosterone level. And then I had someone chime in and... Uh, tell me oh yeah yeah because it raises estrogen and all that estrogen lowers testosterone and so on and so forth and you know the, the idea here is ludicrous we know that testosterone levels have declined in men say in america uh in the last several decades there's there's definitely some evidence of that is it enormous amounts is it enough to affect muscle growth no no it's actually not but it is statistically significant now here's what we find is the biggest correlations and, and most likely causes not from drinking milk it's the rise in obesity right the rise in obesity combined with uh, environmental toxins okay environmental contaminants impacting this All right these seem to be the the most likely culprits it's, it's certainly not milk All right people probably drink more milk when it was higher uh, but let's come over and let's think about this for a There's a few things that people get wrong. First of all, uh, people have this idea that if extra estrogen is added to your system, that testosterone goes down. Well, well, no. If testosterone is converted into estrogen at too high of a rate, it'll go down a little. Now, the net effect of that may not actually be enough to, to affect muscle growth, and it probably won't. Uh, but, you know, something like obesity can contribute to that being fat. Higher adiposity is going to cause more aromatase activity. Okay. But we're still not talking enormous changes. But here's the other thing. People have this idea that estrogen is automatically a bad thing, that a slightly elevated estrogen in men, and we'll get to a minute of why that can't really happen from milk, but they act like this is some terrible evil thing. And it's like the reality is a slightly elevated estrogen in men is anabolic. Okay, I want people to understand that. And that gets into the whole topic of what we know from, from anabolics and PEDs and all these hormones. Uh, estrogen is anabolic in men, not as anabolic as testosterone, but it's anabolic. Right? Number one. Number two, it actually lowering estrogen for men who are using testosterone and androgens not only reduces potential muscle growth, it makes tendons more brittle makes you more prone to heart attacks, etc. Like having slightly elevated estrogen can uh, be cardioprotective. It can help with tendons. It can help with bone health, you know, bone density, all these things. It's, it's not necessarily a bad thing. And again, helps with muscle growth slightly. It doesn't automatically mean you don't gain fat because of it. You don't automatically get man boobs because your estrogen went up a little bit. So these are other factors to think about. But number two, It's not going to lower testosterone. Look, if your estrogen went up slightly due to taking uh, something exogenously, and in this case, I'll claim milk does it. Claim milk does it. All right, whatever. Ridiculous. One of the most anabolic foods in the world. It's having to do with all the protein, the growth factors, everything else. All right, but if this was the case, it, it wouldn't lower testosterone. Okay, it's, it's your testosterone is not going to go down from this. And increasing calories of high quality foods like this, the, the dietary fat, all this protein, is absolutely not, not necessarily linked with reducing testosterone. It's just not. All right. If anything, whole milk has potentially been linked to slightly elevated androgen activities very you know again slightly linked that's a whole nother topic what's really going on all right the idea people point out well cow's milk that we take is the most estrogenic food known to man all right i believe that's largely true okay no problem necessarily with that statement Right? Here's the problem. 
that you're going to raise your estrogen because of it. Okay. If you go look at, and you can research this, do you know why we know milk is estrogenic? Right. So I don't know. Well, stop it. Really stop and think about it. Okay. If it's not obvious to you, here's how we know. We measured it. Oh, okay. Well, now that makes sense. That's how we know. We tested and measured it. Okay. Not only did we find it in there, we measured the amount. That, that's how we make this determination. Laboratories have actually tested and measured it. Well, lo and behold, I mean, the miracles never cease. That explains a lot. So how much is in a gallon of milk? Well, we actually can calculate that. Right? There is a certain amount of estrogen, a measurable average quantity in one gallon of whole cow's milk. All right. Here's the, the issue here. Estrogen is produced by men, healthy men, already. If you were able to absorb all of the estrogen in a gallon of milk, and you take the amount that a healthy, robust 18-year-old male produces, what do you think the comparison is? All right. I don't know, maybe maybe 20% is in that gallon of milk versus what he produces. No, no, it's lower than that. Uh, Some might say 10%. It's 10% of what he produces in that extremely estrogenic food if you drink the whole gallon. No. Oh, okay. If I give you three guesses, someone will say 5%. Nope. It's less than a single percent. I couldn't give you the exact number because it's pretty far below 1%. Because from person to person, it might, you know, it might be, you might need 10 or 20 gallons to get to 1%. But it's less than 1%. That's in the whole gallon of milk. So someone's like, so you're telling me that if I drink a whole gallon of milk every day, my estrogen might go up 1%? No. No. It, it, there's less than 1% of what you produce every day in there. All right. Say, well, you know, there's still some in there. All right. Here's what's going to blow your mind. We make all this much to do about. It's not in drug form. What? It's in a free hormone form. Free hormones are not bioavailable in humans. Your stomach acids will break most of it down. Your stomach acids will destroy most of it. It's not even a cause for concern. 